Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Maya. Her mind was a relentless storm, worries about the past, anxieties for the future, leaving her adrift in a sea of thoughts. Seeking refuge from this tempest, she sought the wisdom of a Zen monastery. Maya longed for peace, but her mind raced like a startled deer. Even amidst the monastery's tranquility, the din of her thoughts drowned out any possibility of stillness. Shanti, the monastery's Zen master, observed Maya's struggle. Her serenity held a wisdom won through years of quieting her own inner storm. Maya gazed at the pond, the rock disrupting her reflection, the water slowly returning to calmness. Shanti's words sank into her heart. Your mind is like this pond. The battle had begun. Maya wrestled with her overthinking, its claws dug deep into her habits. Yet Shanti's teachings and glimpses of peace during meditation kept her striving. The world outside was a torrent compared to the monastery's gentle stream. Old worries flared. For a moment, Maya faltered. But then, like muscle memory, she breathed, focusing on the present as Shanti taught her. Weeks turned to months. Maya's storm didn't vanish, but its power waned. Shanti's wisdom, the practice of mindfulness, slowly reshaped her inner landscape. Word of Maya's transformation spread. Her peers, lost in their own whirlwinds of worry, found her newfound stillness a beacon in their own chaotic lives. And so Maya, once a prisoner of her own thoughts, became a guide. She showed others that within them, beneath the relentless waves, was a stillness waiting to be discovered. Overthinking steals our joy, blurring the beauty of the present. But in the practice of mindfulness, a path opens. Maya's journey reminds us that peace isn't a faraway land, but a quiet shore within each of us.